The aim of the project is to understand the capability of these autonomous technologies, but ultimately it's to understand their impacts, so the benefits that they might have for cities like Milton Keynes, the problems that they start to solve, and ultimately what the public make of them. From a safety point of view, we've got to look at the occupant safety, but also we've got to look at the safety of people around and about in the environment. This pod operates off the highway, where there are pedestrians, cyclists, people with headphones in, people checking their phones, a lot of distracted people around. So you've got to make sure that the vehicle can operate safely in that environment. But of course, when somebody is travelling within the vehicle, we have to look at the safety of those people as well. I think that's really important for the public to understand that these vehicles aren't anything to be worried about. They're just a normal part of everyday life. So the idea would be to demonstrate that seamless journey for someone in the future, where perhaps they take an autonomous car from their home to the outskirts of the city, where they'd be met by a pod like this, and then they'd complete the last mile of that journey via the pod. So currently, the pods are well suited to what we call car-free shared spaces and this might be pedestrianised downtown areas such as in busy city centres. I think that's where we'll end up. I think city centres, mass transit areas, shopping malls, big communities such as science parks and aged care communities. I think all those areas that require people to move around large spaces at a slow speed and the first and last mile, that's where we'll be. As part of the UK Auto Drive project, we've developed and launched the Pod Club and the Pod Club is a way for members of the public to sign up to become passengers in the pod, filling in a couple of details and then downloading the Pod Club app. And the Pod Club app then is your booking app. You tell it where you are, you tell it where you want to go and then the Pod Club app will tell you that the pod's been dispatched. When the pod turns up, you use your phone as an access key so you put it next to the door. The pod then identifies you, lets you in, and then you get on with your journey. Because of the great work that we've done at UK Auto Drive Projects in Milton Keynes, which is probably one of the world's biggest deployments of free roaming autonomous vehicles, Arigo have had worldwide attention, so we're really getting a worldwide spread into all sorts of different territories. And that's really exciting for us as a small company, UK based, to get that worldwide exposure. And really that's because of the funding that's been provided by Innovate UK and the Centre for Connected and Autonomous Vehicles. Ultimately, for vision impaired people, pods give them an immense sense of independence and autonomy and I certainly know that people are very excited about either owning their own autonomous vehicle or certainly using an autonomous vehicle as a service and being able to go wherever they want to go without having to rely on other people to get them there. There's been a fantastic response to the pods, everybody's excited about them and the only issue we have is how soon can the residents use them and we're hoping to have them up and running very soon. We hope the capability will fit in with the lifestyles and the growth of the city so we can see these expanding beyond the city centre, perhaps into some of our residential areas and business parks of the future.